this lecture i'm going to explain you about how to create your own website which is the most important step first you need to register your domain initially in godaddy do not move to the next step without having a proper plan about your website first you need to think well about what kind of website you are going to create There are many types of websites that are available that is whether it is going to deal with a news website informational one product website or a reference site the designs for the page vary slightly for the type of website you choose then you need to get name servers usually there are always a default name server when you register your domain but i would suggest you to get the name servers from your hosting website If you contact your customer support and request for the name servers, they will provide you the name servers for your domains. You have to then go to GoDaddy again and set the new name servers for your domain. Do not worry, I have showed you lively about how to set name servers for your domain. The next step after setting up name servers is to do hosting. Hosting is actually derived from the word host. Hosting is the place where you have to put your website after it is developed. If you have not placed your hosting server, then you will not get customer to your site. Why to go with it? The customer will not even able to see your site. So, these are the initial steps after doing it. You have to start building your site. To build your site on your own, you need to be familiar with design, HTML and CSS. But now all these steps has been reduced and you can design your own site with lot of ease. It is by installing the WordPress to your site and selecting the right theme to your site. So these are the steps in creating your own website. I hope you got a picture about how to create your website. To help you better understand everything, I have explained all the steps in a lively manner where you will understand A to Z process creating your website, installing WordPress to your site and choosing right theme to your site etc in my next few lectures. So don't miss those things to create to build an effective website.